Hello, everystepcalculus.com, everystepphysics.com. Um, I'm going to do a problem in calculus regarding the shell method revolving around the y axes. You can see the problem on your screen. Um, and this was a student submitted, was in trouble, as most of us are in calculus. Uh, so let's do it. Index 8 to get to my menu. I'm going to go scroll up to get to the bottom of the menu. To as close, S is closer to the W's than the A's. I'm going to find the shell method. <coughs> Excuse me. And revolving it around the y axis, number 2. There's the formula. And we have to press alpha before we enter anything on these entry lines here. Alpha, x squared is the, and they give you is y equals 0. I don't know what that means, uh, but there's always has to be two functions because you have to define the region that you're uh, finding the volume of alpha x. I always show you what you've entered. You can change it if you want. I say it's okay. Number one, are the limits given? Yes, they are. Limits are given as x equals one alpha one and alpha can I show you what you've entered? Is an x value given for the x-axis? Yes, it is. Alpha 4. That x the radius 4 minus x. Lower limit of 1, higher limit of 2. And we add the variables to the formula. We multiply px times h of x. We get this. We integrate that. We get this here with these limits. At x equals 2, it goes 40 pi over 3. At x equals 1, it's 13 pi over 6. Upper minus lower equals 67 pi over 6. The answer. Have a good one.